Now today I'm unfortunately a little distressed here because my beautiful Tascam MDCD1 has taken a bad turn and it's to do with the mechanism here. It's thanks to, I mean I'm not sure if it's thanks to the mini disc or if the mem as you can see it's drive error and you can hear the the gears crunching against each other. It just seems like misaligned or something. Well, needless to say, I'm definitely not going to be using this freaking mini disc again, which is quite a shame because I like these Sony premiums, <laughs> you know, but I guess, you know, it's not worth this. As you can see there, what happens is it thinks it's a disc inside, um, but it just tries to, and you can hear the gears crunching, which is not good. And um, also it just comes up with drive error. But I'm hoping that it's just something like a misaligned mechanism. So mine's just like fiddle around with the disc and, you know, open the door up here and cut it out. And let's have a look. I have to be careful here because it thinks that it is a disc inside. So the laser will start trying to you know, pick up so you don't want your eyes over this okay, drive error. Okay, let's unplug this from the mains first and let's see what, what's happened with this. Okay, so I managed to get hold of the service manual and I, I'm seeing an exploded view of this just so I know exactly where certain things are going and you know, so forth. I am bad with mechanisms, so I would not take my word for this straight away. <laughs> I, I, I don't mess with mini discs. I've never been this intimate with one, <laughs> with a mini disc deck or anything like this. So it's a bit, it's very much so out of my comfort zone. I will not lie. I am panicking. <laughs> I've just removed this top thing uh, along with the spring that comes with it uh, over there. Keeping everything very safe. <laughs> okay, so I think it's just a matter of reseeding this. Uh, I'm in way over my depth here. What am I doing? Okay, this is stuck up there. This thing here, this is supposed to be a slider. It's supposed to go all the way here. So I'm not liking that being stuck there. This should be here like this. Because this should be, this notch should be in that window thing. So, there must be some gear underneath that controls the slider thing. Because this, this slider thing that's jammed, what's this mini just done to it? Yeah, this thing is jammed. Okay, so that needs to be, okay. Yeah, there's some serious misalignment going on here. What the freak did that mini just do? Aha, uh -huh. okay, so that is the switch, which, you know when you, um, you put the disc in, it kind of like releases this and it knows there's a disc inside. Well, if you were to, you know, push this lever this way, it thinks there's no disc in it. It says at the front, no disc. And when you let go of it, it thinks there's just a disc inserted, so the mechanism starts, you know. So, you know, one step towards understanding this thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, what I need to do is not to put this on now, to get the mechanism to think it's ejected. And then, because this slider needs to be out here. For some reason, I just got the feeling that slider needs to be out here. So, okay. Yes! Okay, we got that. We got that there. And let's start. Okay, we're halfway there. So that's... Okay, let me just turn the power off again. Because you have to work with the... Um... Okay, this is supposed to be up here, I think. This mechanism is so confused. 
Okay, I don't want to slice this freaking head off, so what I'll do is lift that and... No, hold on. Something is not right here. Okay, so yes, it works. However, the mechanism is a bit, you know, skewy. Like, like that, the disc doesn't go fully in. It's not taking the disc in. I'm not sure if that's to do with, if the mechanism needs greasing or what. Why is that not fully going in? Because it's, it's trying to read the plastic, of course. Um, okay. Let's because when you put it in... Okay, let's press this down. It's not... Does this do something? Does this press? Let's press that down. Okay, so when you press that down, that's when it starts working. So there's something here. Yep, that works perfect. But what I'm going to do while I'm in here, I'm going to grease the mechanism anyway. Let's put that back in. Yeah, see? See, that, not that, that's popped off. Oh, goodness. Inserted. Freaking close. What's stopping it from going all the way? It's this. What is this? Call me that spring. Let's bring to do with this, to do with this, that end bit. Okay, so let's try greasing this freaking thing, right? The mechanism here, maybe it's, that's the issue in the first place, the grease dried up. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's not the most pleasant of things to do. <laughs> let's turn this on again and show you the mechanism from this side. There's a lot of going going on here. While I'm here, let's grease the rail very freaking carefully. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. One thing I noticed it kept doing it is it got it went in properly. What the freak is this? No, it's not bruised. <laughs> it's purple felt it. When I squeeze the end bits, these two, the structure here, when I squeeze it in just a little bit, it then goes in. There you go. Straight away. It reads the disc. So maybe it just needs this to be screwed on. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it now. I don't see it, but... Disc error, darn it, it didn't work. It really does not like this top thing on. The moment I put that on, it stopped working. Why? Does it need to be squeezed in more? And now it works. What's it with this top thing that it stops it working? Okay, it seems there's a screw missing here, so I'll put a substitute screw in there. I'm literally the only one I could find in this entire freaking... This entire tin of screws. <laughs> Just not the right size, but... Now that I've put that screw in... Every single time... Let's do it ten times, right? It reads, good. Take it out. Yep. Put it back in. Yep. 
second time fine. Yeah, it's recording a little bit. It's counting down. Stop. Do the user table contents writing. Yep, 12 tracks. Okay, good. Recording seems fine. I'll be so happy once this is fixed. I was really enjoying this. I love this deck. Even my, way more than my Technics. It's like Love and first sight, if that's even possible. <laughs> Normally I don't believe in that. I used to. Okay, three screws are in there. Please work. Okay, so far so good. Let's try a few times. Yep, that time worked. Fantastic. It's done. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's try it one more time. This time connecting speakers. Do you work? <laughs> Please work. Yes! Oh, it works. Okay, copyright, just put it down. <laughs> but that works. I was so worried. You have no idea how worried I was about this. I was, oh my God goodness today was an ordeal I cried actual tears because you know I just got this I just I was really enjoying it because I was just like this is perfect this is all I've always wanted I can type the titles and everything <laughs> you know so I was just like no it's broken <laughs> you know, so it was perfect and you can dub from CD to this so I, I have more appreciation for this thing now <laughs> after all that freaking this stupid thing's not going in here ever again So before I put this back in my hi-fi setup and I start enjoying and recording and everything again <laughs> because I've been miserable all day, um, I would like to mention one thing and that is Sidbugs. No, they're not a sponsor, I'm the freaking team. In fact, I designed this logo myself <laughs> and for the Sid Books um, project and uh, I got the t-shirt. I'm the first one to wear the t-shirt. <laughs> first one to have a t-shirt. Yay! So anyway, so basically it's a small music player which plays mod format, Sid format, Pocky format, AYYM. You know, you can basically put all your Sid collection, mod collection all on an SD card and it'll play it all. And it's got beautiful, it's a dedicated player, so it's got beautiful interface. Anyway, I won't go on about it now. There's videos, I've done it from the beginning of the project up until now and well earlier in the project at least and yeah do check out those videos and yeah also I will link the Facebook group which is updated regularly uh, in the description below and also in fact I'll pin it in the comment at the bottom do join that group you know because you'll get all the updates that group is updated first primarily before anything else so we're actually pretty close to the Kickstarter. You know, I've put a poll up in the group, which, you know, the, everyone's choosing which colors there will be in the sit box. So, yeah, do cast your vote. It's a more exciting election than the freaking political one. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, do, do join the group, cast your vote, and, you know. Anyway, that's all for today. I'm gonna go and enjoy my mini disc deck. <laughs> So yeah, thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because I've got quite a huge library now. And do subscribe for more and don't forget to hit that bell icon. Also, a big thank you for all your support to my patrons and uh, otherwise. For now, I will say adios. <laughs>